hey Rafikis, what's up? I am uh, currently on a trip, very long, crazy trip, driving down from Kenya, Nairobi, all the way to South Africa. Because it's gonna be a really long trip, I thought it was a really good idea to show you guys how I pack for this trip. It's gonna be a three week road trip because we're stopping by each country, Tanzania, Malawi, Botswana, and then South Africa. I will be showing you guys how to pack the actual car. And then we're gonna go to my handbag. So Rafiki, now I will take you on a tour of everything that you need to pack for a long road trip in the car. First of all, you need a four x four, which is what we have right here. And you need an international driving license because you're driving all the way from Kenya down to different countries into South Africa. And the driving license, you can get it from AA. You can get the, drive, the international driving license on the same day, it's about 7,000 shillings, so it's pretty easy. The reason why you need a 4x4, I mean, recommended to use a 4x4 is because you're gonna be in different types of roads. Not always it's gonna be tarmac, you're sometimes gonna be like off-road, on safari and stuff like that. Now, let me give you guys a tour of the car. So, here we have, obviously, we had to brand uh, Farhan Urbison on Instagram. If you're not following me, guys, go follow me on Instagram. It's just a Nairobi to Cape Town to Nairobi because, you know, that's where we're going. Okay. Whoa. This is the entire um, setting we have here. I find this super cool because it's like, it comports, it's like compartments for your stuff and you have everything so neat and clean, which I absolutely love. Starting over here at the back, we have this, which is a camping mat. So these are compartments for the bag. Down here we have a camping bag which has all camping equipment. And we also have a camping chair for if we stop by and go camping somewhere. Here, these are just suitcases. Small one here and another small one at the back of this one. Prayer mats, everything is over there. So I'm gonna get up here and show you guys. Oh, what else we have? Here we have uh, bottles of water. We have so, so many bottles of water which is very important to carry with you in one box here but we have more at the roof we have i think three boxes at the roof as well the best part guys the best part of this entire car is this fridge you have a fridge which is connected to the battery of the car and when the car is running that's when the fridge is, is on and it's a like a proper working fridge guys so inside here we have bottles of water, we have orange water, we have yogurt. I have some chocolates down there as well. Everything that needs to be refrigerated on the go is all inside here. In this box we have uh, fruits. Inside here is like a small kind of tool toolbox we have, which we have a fire extinguisher, first aid kit, etc, etc. And then in here is all snacks. So that is the, the back of the car so we're gonna move on to the back seat of the car it looks so full but there's four people in this car guys um right now i'm just giving you guys a tour pillows so important for picnics like you know when you stop by you want to lay down pillows good for you picnic basket we have like all convenient stuff we have nutella we have our sauces jam honey also granola as well an entire set of forks, knives, etc, etc, cutlery basically that you'll need. Over here we have blankets, super soft blankets. We have neck pillows because you know when you're on the road for really really long and you want to sleep like on the chair, you just put the neck pillow on and good night you are. Backpack, we have all things for hiking. On this side we have food. We have this basket also all full of different types of food. In the front here we have wet wipes, we have hand sanitizer, we have an emergency light as well, charging station over here for like phones, batteries. So guys, another essential for a road trip is getting this thing, it's a GPS map called a, a Garmin. When you're on the road, sometimes you don't have internet or network, so you can't use Google Maps. So this Garmin, this is a medium sized suitcase, okay? It records your route, so in case at any point that you're stuck or, I mean, you're lost, um, it can show you exactly where you came from. So you just follow the route back. It can show you the route to go to wherever you want to go. I am freaking exhausted. So over here, I packed like pajamas. We have a robe, 
and a kanga over there. Over here are all pants, all the tops to go with the pants. I have scarves, I only carried three plus the one I'm wearing. By the way, guys, this is one of my new collection of scarves from Fahana Orbison Clothing. So my new scarf collection is called the Classic Scarf Collection. If you haven't gotten yourself one for Eid, because Eid is coming up, you can order through my Instagram page or I have left in the description box below the business number. You can text on WhatsApp and it'll be delivered ac across East Africa. Moving on, over here we have dresses and they're all, as you can see, summer dresses. I'm gonna wear this for Eid in, in Malawi. Here we have inner wear comb. I love these big combs because like they're just so much easier to detangle your hair with. Oh, I'm obsessed with these big hats and one cap. Tip for packing, yeah? When you have these big hats, you can put like chargers or socks inside this hole just to save space and stuff like that. What I carry in my toiletry bag, we have Obviously, Salumi hair oil, my guys, this hair oil is so good. Conditioner, hair conditioner, which I bought these. These are traveling like bottles. This is benzoyl peroxide for my pimples. This is, oh my God, guys, this is the best thing ever. This is the Bulgari Nourishing Face Emotion, and it is so good, especially when it's really cold and your skin is like super dry. More hair creams. We have these mini Vaselines more pimple cream this is retina a brush for my braces victoria's secret makeup bag we have cotton pads translucent powder my favorite foundation this is the maybelline fit me foundation we have maybelline superstay matte lipsticks we have the mascara when you're traveling it's so good to carry these mini eyeshadow palettes because they're just so convenient my bbo cream which you all if you follow me on instagram you all know i love this stuff so here we have underwear, sanitary pads, socks, etc, uh, etc. Et As for shoes, I carried a pair of trainers and a pair of slippers. Now I'm going to show you guys what I pack in my handbag. It's like a mess in here. By the way guys, don't think that I'm in my room or something. This is not my room. I'm currently in a hotel in Tanzania. Anyways, first things first, I have my GoPro. Attached it to this accessory thing. Just stick this to the dashboard of the car and it takes just amazing videos of the landscape. Guys, you have to carry a mosquito repellent when you're traveling across Africa. You just do not want to be stuck with like malaria halfway through your road trip. Spray it on your body and you're good to go, I guess. Also do carry malaria tablets just to be cautious and not get sick on the way. Next, I have my water bottle. So many bottles of water in the car, so what I do is just refill here and I drink from here. iPhone chargers and earphones. Do have a power bank. This is a 22,000 watts perfume. I carry a bottle of perfume in every single handbag that I have just to keep moisturized and smelling good. I have recently started to carry around lotion. But here we have like my little essentials kit and inside here we have toothbrush. Sometimes you might be sleeping in the car. When you wake up you're feeling so blah and your mouth stinks so you have a toothbrush ready. Plasters, medicine. Guys carry all your medicine because it's a long road trip so you don't want to be like having an emergency and you're dying on the road or something like that. Another Vaseline here. Lotion number two, body moisturizer. The blotting papers, packet of tissues, a bunch of my sunglasses, wet wipes. I also have this sleeping mask. You can just snore away. Moving on in the handbag, we have my driving license and my passport. Yellow fever, extremely important when you're traveling in Africa, you have to have your yellow fever card. And lastly, we have my wallet. That is everything that you need for a massive road trip like this one to South Africa. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I will be starting to upload the vlogs from Nairobi to South Africa starting next week. So make sure to click that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. Bye!